Now, uh, chromatography. Now, chromatography is a, a laboratory technique used to separate components uh, or molecules of a mixture uh, based on the property of these components, uh, that is, differential migration through porous medium. Now, there are two phases involved in uh, chromatography, that is a stationary phase and a mobile phase. And uh, the term affinity uh, is important here, affinity is important here because uh, it is based on the uh, affinity of these molecules uh, towards either stationary phase or mobile phase that these molecules get separated. So, uh, if the components are having a greater affinity towards stationary phase, they tend to remain with the stationary phase and move slowly, slowly only. Now, whereas uh, if the components are having those components which are having uh, a higher affinity or greater affinity towards uh, mobile phase, they move with the uh, mobile phase. So, they travel far. So, basically, uh, uh, all different types of uh, chromatography, uh, there are uh, different types of chromatography and all of them are having the same basic principle. And uh, the different types of uh, chromatography are uh, partition chromatography, adsorption uh, chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, uh, molecular exclusion uh, uh, chromatography, uh, affinity chromatography, and there are uh, more advanced uh, mechanized varieties also like um, HPLC and uh, gas chromatography. Now, first of all, uh, we can see the partition chromatography, for example, paper chromatography, as well as uh, uh, adsorption chromatography. Uh, for which um, TLC is an example. In paper chromatography, water molecules bonded to cellulose in paper act as the actual stationary phase. Liquid solvent is the mobile phase. Partitioning of the sample between two phases delays or retains the components to be separated. Now we can see how paper chromatography is actually done in a lab. Materials required. A suitable solvent mixture. Wattman number one quality paper. Cut ideally into 5 cm width and 15 cm length. 1% ninhydrin solution for color development. Amino acid mixture. 3 amino acids have been taken in amino acid mixture. And one of those amino acids is taken uh, as a test solution for the we need a chromatographic chamber, glass wares. To start the procedure, draw a pencil line about 2 cm from one of the edges and parallel to that edge. Never use a pen for this purpose. Mark two points two centimeters apart on the line again with a sharp pencil now a small concentrated spot of a solution that contains the sample is applied to the points marked earlier using a capillary tube for maximum precision now first of all we add the unknown uh, mixture of uh, amino acids a small concentrated spot is made and this is followed by the unknown uh, single amino acid containing solution that also is applied. The sample is absorbed onto the paper and may form interactions with it and the paper is allowed to dry. Now the preparation of solvent mixture and uh, chromatography chamber. The most popularly used solvent mixture for separation of amino acids is butanol acetic acid water BAW in the ratio 4 is to 1 is to 5. Now alternately butanol, pyridine, water can be used in the ratio 6 is to 6 is to 3. Uh, and solvent mixtures are used to get a range of polarities. And this is added to chromatography chamber and the chamber is uh, kept closed for some time for vapor homogenization. Now we used uh, here two types of uh, chambers whichever uh, can be used as per convenience. Now the dried paper is to be dipped into this chamber containing butanol acetic acid uh, water solvent mixture taken in 4 is to 1 is to 5 ratio and uh, this is usually a practically a difficult uh, affair, a tricky affair. I have made a punch hole here using a hole puncher and a twine and a sticker are used to fix the paper. Care must be taken that the spots are above the surface of the solvent and afterwards the container is to be closed uh, or sealed. The solvent moves up the paper by capillary action which occurs as a result of the attraction of the solvent molecules to the paper. As the solvent rises through the paper it meets the uh, and dissolves the sample mixture and uh, this will be uh, travel. This will travel up the paper with the, the solvent at different rates due to differences in affinities. 
and after approximately 2 hours or just when the solvent uh, front solvent front reaches 2 cm away from the top you can take the paper out now uh, mark the solvent front uh, with a pencil uh, carefully and allow the paper to dry in air or in oven at 45 degree celsius and afterwards the solutes can be visualized using 1% ninhydrin for detection of amino acids which is sprayed on the paper and paper is dried again in oven at 45 degree now 1% ninhydrin give purple color for all amino acids except proline which gives yellow color now you can see the three spots they are representing three amino acids in the amino acid mixture used and a single spot in the test uh, amino acid applied the central points of these spots are marked to enable measurement of distance moved and as well as the distance from the point of application to the solvent front is also measured the identification of amino acids are done by retardation factor or the retention ratio given by the symbol rf which is the ratio of the distance moved by solute to the distance moved by solvent front the rf value for test spot is 4.5 divided by 12 is equal to 0.375 you may calculate uh, other values yourselves the value comes always uh, below 1.0 except in conditions in which solute moves perfectly along with the solvent it is possible that two solutes move uh, have the same rf value uh, using one solvent so separate uh, points can be obtained using another solvent this is the amino acid rf value chart but the value strongly depends on the conditions in which experiment is done uh, now the applications of uh, paper chromatography paper chromatography can be done to detect uh, amino acids hormones drugs uh, and other organic compounds uh, paper chromatography this is uh, a quick method and the materials required are easily available and uh, this can be uh, done uh, quantitatively also this is by eluting the spots using uh, suitable solvent and the concentrations are found out colorimetrically uh, this is always uh, by uh, standardizing uh, using a known amino acid of specific volume uh, so that is uh, uh, paper chromography thank you for watching my video thank you very much